Hollywood and welcome to the Buzz Report. And now for the Gadget of the Week. The Gadget of the Week is the Nintendo Wii. It's like the black truffle of the gadget world. It's like a rare diamond that only the chosen, committed few will be allowed to grasp in their hot little gamer hands. The Wii Mote is becoming the stuff of wishful legend as children rock themselves to sleep at night dreaming of Zelda. The Wii was on sale at Amazon again this week for just 28 short minutes, barely long enough to get a credit card out of a wallet. And rest assured, my darlings, I'll be dreaming with you. I'll be dreaming with you. And now for the news. There are reports that YouTube may have been censored by Fox Broadcasting. The network apparently ordered YouTube to take down videos of Paula Abdul acting like a drunken rambling lunatic on some local Fox affiliate shows. But now some critics are saying that Fox has gone too far and the move amounts to flat out <laughs> <coughs> censorship of embarrassing material. Oh no. Embarrassing no. Oh, moments. No. Dude, if CNET had to take down all the video of Molly oh. drunk and acting a fool on YouTube, They'd have to shut down the entire site. Yeah, get her out of here. <laughs> hey, Can you hey, seriously no. like, throw away the key next time? I really don't need her getting me fired. Sony BMG and Universal Music have decided that they will not allow users of the Microsoft Zune to share certain songs with other Zune users. This even though songs that are shared between Zunes can only be played three times before they either expire or you have to buy them. And in Universal's case, they're already collecting royalty fees for every Zune being sold in order to offset what they say are enormous losses to piracy. Nevertheless, both labels refuse to allow even the slightest opening in the iron curtain of digital distribution lockdown, even though it would actually result in people discovering and then being encouraged to buy new music from both of these giant music labels, which I would think is what they actually want. Wow, what jerks. Plus, they would totally be killing Zune sales if they're were any Zune sales. Speaking of unfortunate Microsoft news, Microsoft Vista is barely even out the door. Actually, it's not even out the door yet for consumers, and Microsoft is already hard at work on Service Pack 1. In fact, the company has basically acknowledged that Vista still has some, quote, high impact issues to work out. Ooh, like what? Like, um, you install it and then it crashes instantly and gets a virus and you can't figure out how to use it because it's like all weird and like a Mac and stuff and then like none of that pretty shiny stuff works. It just slows everything down and then you get so mad that you hurl your computer against the wall. Like that kind of high impact issues. There's heartwarming news from China this week. A teacher had her purse snatched containing money and her mobile phone. So she sent the thief a series of 21 heartfelt text messages begging him to return her things and telling him that she forgave him. Two days later, the thief returned all her items and left a note saying that her tolerance had moved him and he planned to correct his ways and become an upright person. Aw, oh, that is so sweet. They totally don't have anywhere to sell stolen mobile phones in China. Now, this week, as you know, was the President's annual State of the Union Address. And with so many changes afoot in the United States, it was one that many people were watching with interest. But you know, these days, there's more than just one world to think about. And with the recent release of the Burning Crusades reinvigorating fans everywhere, we've invited special World of Warcraft correspondent Veronica Belmont to join us and reinterpret the State of the Union for all you WoW fans. Take it away, Veronica. Thank you, Molly. <clears throat> Mr. Bronzebeard, Vice President Four Dragon, members of Shadrath, fellow questers and raiders, I stand before you tonight at a time when Azeroth is growing, ganking is low, our citizens are seeing unparalleled epics, and our nation is a force for raiding and change throughout the world of Warcraft. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our Burning Crusade is strong. I know we face conflicts. The Horde and the Alliance continue to war in Arathai Basin, and of course, our challenges in Outland grow every day. The insurgent forces continue to attack and kill Night Elf troops and Draenei citizens. And that is why we must act now to bring peace to the region. You've heard about my plan to send a surge of gnomes into Kalimdor to help quell the violence there. Right now we are LFG to raid the crossroads and hopefully bring about a quick end to the insurgency. I'm confident we can get this done and bring our troops home to Stormwind. As you may also know, our renewable resources are becoming dangerously scarce. 
runecloth consumption is too high and our reliance on farmers in Ashara is too strong. That is why I am calling for a 20% reduction in runecloth consumption by the year 2017. We must make griffins that are more bread efficient and we must also double our emergency runecloth reserves. I call on both sides of the house, the dwarves and the tauren, to work together to reach these goals and to save our precious resources. And finally, as you know, the dwarves have taken control of Ironforge this year. I want you to know that I am committed to the Torrin working with the dwarves to pass better laws, increase wealth and prosperity of our citizens, and to make Azeroth a better place to live. Thank you and good night.